Hey yo guys, I'm Krigo and this is Wasteland 2. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. By the way, the Morse code on the background, right, says Red, cold, not get back. Range is hunting me. Stash it back equals a red suit in RV. Hide yours too. Farkas might make me talk. Your brother Rick. You will find um, these NPCs, you know? So, yeah. It's not that I can understand the beeping myself. I uh, I do know a little bit of Morse, but not a lot. Almost nothing, sadly. So yeah, you know, uh, I, I should fix it up, but you can actually record it and put it in a decoder. Come on, come on, don't do a critical problem right now, but a critical success, yes. Spray paint. Um, well, it is worth it. Let's admit it, it is worth it, right, boys? But sadly, there is no RV around here, if I'm mistaken, right? So, yeah, there's no way for us to find, actually, the red suit, I believe. Maybe it's somewhere else, but right now, we don't really mind. We are going to different situations and positions. Wait a minute. Yeah, this looks like a cave, right? But it absolutely is not a cave, sadly. Nope. And off we go to the wasteland. Uh, yes, gather your squad and travel to the wasteland. Absolutely. A smart ranger always checks his ammo. Very good, very smart indeed. Ah, oh, yes, he can still level up though, but we do not have anything there, sadly. So what we want to do is probably go south first, right? But probably here to the AG center. Ranger Citadel is there. So we might actually try to go over here first. Hmm. We do have to level up our wasteland type of thing. SOS! SOS! Is anybody out there? This is Tidepool. We are under attack. I repeat, we are under attack. Raiders with mortars and explosives are blasting our walls. If anybody can hear this, come at once. Don't know how long we can hold up. Oh boy, that's very bad, right? That's very bad. I think we have to go to high pool first. Not that I want to though, but we probably have to, right? You know? Uh, refill water. Yes. Now let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We have to go. You see a dangerous rider or uh, radius approaching your position. Uh, I would say run. That wasn't worth the ammo it would take to kill them. Indeed. I think we have to go this way. Yes. I really... Oh! Yeah, combat rate is approaching. Let's try it again. Combat. All right. So, let's pwn them. But we really have to destroy the ones at, uh, at the upcoming location, right? Uh, high point. Um, high pool. Let's check the high point two over here. And there we go. Encounter begins. Now, one, two, three, we do see. Not too many, but that's okay. Uh, I would like to have someone else over here first, but that's okay. How much chance? All right, not bad. 82, though, huh? Oh, isn't that beautiful? Look at him go, my dude. All right, only 32. Yeah, we do have to learn a little bit more here, right, you know? Hmm nice oh my god that's a lot of damage yeah. all right by the way space bar we can use for end turn <gasps> pistol oh boy uh, maybe over here 40 percent chance is better than nothing right we got lucky here i'm not sure what triggers lucky oh wait a minute or oh, skill of course yeah and are you fucking whoa 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 Angela Dev, come on and get it, candy ass. <laughs> Are you fucking up on purpose? Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's a hard ass on us, right, you know? Hmm, maybe we have...
have to reload it. No, no, no. Wait a minute. Did we really swap it? Reload. There you go, girl. And that's okay. Now I want her to prone this guy. Hmm. Right over there. Nice. Very nice. Not bad, not bad. 45. And Sien's high caliber bullet hits a raider gunslinger doing 30 points of damage, tearing his head clean off. Very nice. That's how you do things, right, you know? Well, let's check out uh, what he have over here. Mm -hmm. Distribute, distribute, distribute. It's awesome that it has AoE uh, looting. I don't remember that from the original, but I mean, that's all right, right? Uh, freaking nice you cannot save this game at this time okay we got to leave right now but we want to explore a little bit more right you know uh, nothing in there i mean you do not know right maybe there's something really nice to be found here something very helpful something weird and random maybe baby right nothing of that sort Yeah, and by the way, if you're wondering, we are going first for some skills, right, you know? And then we are going for more combat-orientated skills. It might seem a little bit redundant, and I might agree a little bit with that, right, you know? Yeah, probably quite a bit, but, you know? Um, but I want to do it in this way. Because then we have more control over the battle positions here and there, right? And battle positions, I mean, you know, like, uh... Citadel, this is Ag Center. Come in. We're under attack. The plants, they're, they're mutating out of control. They're tearing my people apart. And that is the problem, right? In Wasteland 1, we forgot to smash the biological research center in, uh, in base Darwin. Ag Center, this is Citadel Base. Can you repeat? Did you say the plants were attacking? Yes, goddammit, the plants! Something's gone wrong with the... Oh, ah, the door! They're breaking down the door! Fall back! Fall back! I mean, if this isn't cool and immersive, then I don't know what is, though. But damn scary, though, right? Ranger Team Echo, this is Ranger Command. Come in. Did you copy those distress calls from High Pool and Ag Center? Over. Affirmative. Message received. Roger that. Uh... Listen, Echo One, I have no one else in the area and no further intel at this time. I'm afraid it's going to have to be your decision which call to respond to first. Whichever one you choose, get there ASAP. Both situations are emergencies and both sounded like they were deteriorating rapidly. Copy? Copy. 10 4 Echo One. Godspeed. Major command out. Oh boy. Very bad situation. We will just go where we are the closest. Traveling Fendor. Let's investigate that. Look at that, right over here to the right side. Wastelander, Wasteland. I mean, they look very, very native, but yet a little bit punk uh, like, right? You know, Suyen is a native. Real life friend. Um, come and have a look. Only the very best merchandise. He looks like a babushka or a babsha, right? You know, like a grandmother from Russia or Poland, Belarus, Ukraine. Um, I have a little bit of everything, but now before it's too late. But now before it's too late. Oh, Surgeon 4 is needed for that. We do not have that. 
removes all disease effects. We do not have antibiotics, I believe. But I think we do have some. Hmm. I mean, he has beautiful stuff though, right? We might actually sell this one right here. Uh, yes, yeah, sell it by double clicking. Sell that, 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 that. Of course. Metal leg we want to keep. It's a quest item even. I did not realize. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we can uh, show it to someone. Low dose of pain. That's about that, huh? Well, let's go. Oh, wait a minute. Thanks for the help. Basically, let's say I have a little bit of everything. Okay, okay, okay. We could investigate this place, apparently. Wait a minute. I have a flashback of this place, but then it was full of enemies. Strange, though. Very strange. All right, apparently we are going nicely close to uh, AG right here. Okay. So, that's the first that we are going to help out, right? You know, it's, it seems bad because their help needs came a little bit later, but here we are anyways, right? You know, Archie Cultural Center, that is. That means not all too far away. There is that little town that we did help. Citadel Base, this is Echo One. We have arrived Roger, at the AG Center. And listen, deal with the emergency situation first before proceeding to the satellite dish. Repeat, talk to Kathy Lawson and take care of her emergency. Then, go to the satellite dish and hook up the repeater. Protecting civilians is always a ranger's number one priority. Do you copy? Copy. Roger, Echo One. Advise when complete. Ranger command out. All right. Now, you know what we have to do, rangers. Let's go. Uh, right over there. Logbook. I want to keep a little bit... Look at these catapults, man. Ballistas, actually. No, catapults. The pain. Something is happening. Oh my god. This is horrible. The experimentated... Uh, what we do know of this place is that the experimentated with food. To feed everyone, remember? So, yeah. Let's reload here a little bit. And, uh... Something did happen with the mutation logbook updated. We want to see... Hmm... All right, you activate that one, big boy. Not sure what happened over there. This ruined fence okay, looks like it has been torn bad. down by wild animals. This is kill it with fire, bad. What the hell caused this? Kill it with fire? Oh my god, darling, are you talking about spiders? Yeah, look at those huge plants, man. This is the place where we did help against the bunny master. Remember that stuff? Oh my, we can attack with the entire team at once. Do you know how freakishly cool that is, though? Oh. Yeah, that's really bad. Okay, good that we are hitting here, you know, instead of our team member. Uh, and turn. Let them come towards us, you know. Oh boy. That's really bad. These are very freakishly bad, though. Um, we have to move a little bit closer next time. And we do need more points, right? You know, way more points. We can also spread out a little bit. Will be super helpful. Peggy ends the turn, yes. Oh, yeah. Come on, Mega Maggot. <laughs> mega Maggot. <laughs> Sounds like it's a weird type of superhero, doesn't it? All right. Uh, you. Hmm. Full luminous. The sun flowers blood out the sun. Well, you know, can you imagine those seeds, though? It's like a handful. It's like a piece of cake, you know? And you. 47 chance. Oh, boy. Weapon jab? Oh, no. That is really, really bad. Uh, swap weapon. How do we get rid of that? Precision strike. I have no idea. Lucky miss. Oh my dude. Nice though, huh? Of course, damn it. Mm hmm. In the head. Oh! Bloody shame. Okay, there we go. Right there. Nice. Got a bit of pain there from that thing, but uh, everything is so good so far. This was very dumb. I did misclick there. 
And here you go with that one and shoot it. Are you kidding me, my dude? Mm, maybe we can shoot right in between? Yeah, we did it. All right. Lovely. I'm so glad that everybody's getting experience, right? Just saying. Oh, that was a pain, actually, right? You know, in uh, the older games. All right, we got a lot of weird stuff over here. Um, Angela Death. We do have to heal her. Do we have antibiotics, though? A few medic restores hit points and removes effect by using consumable items. Oh, yeah. This is very bad right there. I don't think we do have anything. No antibiotics, nothing. Oh, anti-venom. Uh, we do have this then, apparently, right? So we want to add to hotkey. Yes. Six. There we are. Those of anti-venom. Nice. Oh, boy. Yeah, those supplies, man. They are really needed, yo. They are really, really needed. We cannot... Un oh, why everybody? How did I do this again? Hmm? I don't know. Uh, just by clicking... Uh, oh my god, do you know how simple that is, though? I did try it before, though, you know, to my credit. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. This seems to be prime for Nambu side. <laughs> oh my god. Immense, it's the great pumpkin, and it's getting greater every second. Oh... Seems to be very bad. You have no idea what happened here, but the, the thick wet smell of vegetables surrounds you like a cloying wet blanket of vegetabilism. Mm. Seems like we have to be rather... I don't know, man. Oh, what is this? Something seems to be buried here. Yeah, clearly, but hopefully no booby trap. shotguns always nice and medicine pouch all right i want to i actually would love to have a shotgun as Corrigo what but assault rifles are some of the best here whoa look at those aubergines man and the salad to be honest all salad in our garden looks like this almost man it's gigantic you can hear the sounds of citrus and cellulose and uh, chlorophyll and other sea wards whispering in the depths of the veggie jungle. Okay, that's bad. <laughs> that's burning with fire bad indeed. Man, huge insects though. I mean, normies are already a little bit weird, right? You know? Uh, this rune fence looks like it's been uh, torn uh, down by wild animals. Probably has been. These fans don't seem to have any power. He creak and groan in the wind. Oh, do you see that right over there? Maybe we have to go back a little bit and try to get over there because we do need more anti-venom, right? Wait, 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 wait. Firing modes and ambush? Apparently, this young lady's name was misbehaving. Okay, right over there. That's kind of cool, though. This truck looks like it could drive through a bunker and keep going. The only thing that stopped it was time. What a shame, right? What a shame. There's a little painting over there. Misbehaving, huh? Interesting. I'm, I wonder what it's actually carrying, you know? Emanation Apocalypse, maybe... Yeah, well, sure. Let's check it out. Okay, let's share the love. And right over here too. Mm hmm Oh, Crazy Peggy, here you go. And there you are. Lovely. Maybe we should not give it all to, to Peggy though, but oh well, you know, like... Uh, later on we can actually go around. What is this? It looks like this storage tank was uh, reinforced with plates from a battleship. Oh! What? From a battleship all the way in Arizona? Man, that's far away from the ocean, right? You know? Truly the food of the gods. If the gods ate their veggies. Oh, who knows? Maybe they didn't. Encounter begins. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, we have to aim a little bit up above him. 
That's a very nice shot, though, I have to admit. And there you go. Nice. First one is gone. Of course, of course. Why not? <laughs> you know? It's not even one at the closest point. Oh, my dude. You gotta learn a little bit, right? You know? Gotta learn to aim a little bit better. 50% from close range. Oh, Lord, yo. Look at that slime bag. Hmm. There's another... Uh, both of them are dead. All right, that's just perfect. And there we go. Right over here. And put you in range for another fail. Here we are. Nice. It's just beautiful right there. Okay, we got to empty. Or reload, I mean. And there you go. Bzz, 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 bzz. Oh, boy. Look at that HP, man. That's, that's just rotten, isn't it? Oh. Oh. So bad. Mega maggot. Do we the superhero in the West? How can you? Do you see the size of that thing, though? Huh? You know? Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. We can aim at this one. Sure, let's go for a weapon gem. You gotta be kidding me. And sure, let's go there. That's good damage here and there. Ooh, this one too, huh? Ah! You gotta be kidding me. Oh no, seriously, we did. Mm -mm. We did miss around there. That's really dirty. That is dirty. Oh, dude. Mm, it's not really a mega, though, in real life, right? They look like uh, something else. We could. Let's go for this one first. Yes. They look like those uh, larvae that are coming out in May. You know, that become cicada some type of. Uh, okay, we have to aim over it. Nice. And... Ah. Uh, of course we have to... What? No more bullets? That is really dirty right there. We, we kind of have to go with the fist then. <clears throat> And we have to try to find some trading sins, you know, and everything. Nice. We really have to trade some ammo towards uh, her. All right. 60 experience. That's quite a bit, though, I have to say, right? You know, we are almost all leveling up. Now, let's see. Um, it was you. Yes. And you have this one. Wait a minute. You don't have rounds for it? You should have rounds for it, right? 5.56 5.56 It is available, big dude ah. mm, Let's see, let's see, let's see There we go Alright, now let's see Distribute to all Oh, that's just bad, man Maggot flash, but yeah, we can sell it so I'm a hungry, hungry lover of insects. Oh, little bunny deer. Sort of the food of the gods. Yes, we already had that one. Man. Giant rabbits. Is that a little joke towards the first thing? Maybe. Encounter begins. It will be so funny to see another bunny master, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Can we do one more? Not enough AP. Oh! Look at it fly. Oh, yeah, we gotta heal up our partners, right? Big time. Oh, my. We better hurry up here. Oh, yeah. We might actually die here, to be honest, right? You know, that's the problem here. Hmm. Oh, Lord. Especially when that happens. Oh, my God. That's just dumb. All right. Uh, yeah, this is problematic here. Mm. Let's hunker that one down. It just... Okay, that's better. Good, good, good. A mm. little bit of range. A little bit 
better range away from one another. Well, Angela, Dev, it means that we need more leadership, right? You know, that that is what that means. What are you doing, Lucky? Oh, you little rabbit. I think he just wanted to play, right? Probably. Oh, are you... Out of ammo? This is really bad. And who are you? This is... Angela Death. Of course, of course it is. Mm. Alright. Right now, we really have to fix things up. Very important if we do it. Alright, now, Crazy Peggy, you better heal everyone here, right? You know? Uh, sure, that one. Perfect, right? Perfect. There you go, too. And the one with the most HP or whatever is going to trade with Angela Death, right? Or uh, more rounds. Hmm. 24. That's probably us there. Uh, flag as junk? No. 24. I would say 10. Yeah, something like that. That's nice. F9 right here and rabbit's food plus one look huh well I have a little meme with Peggy for some reason you know like uh, like bunny legs and so on you know bring look and stuff like that getting run over by this thing will be a harrowing experience what is that thing then oh it's one of those uh, um, attachments to a tractor right to plow the fields the paper in these baskets are from before the apocalypse how is it possible they have lasted this long that's a very good question right maybe back then you know things were made to last probably there's a huge central building before you and two site uh, research stations all spilling an explosion of fines and fronts and leaves from their shattered windows. Guess the buildings were, weren't big enough to hold in the harvest. Hello? Maybe. By the doors, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, these doors look like the main entrance to the facility. Hello, are you there? Okay, call. Copy, Echo 1. Command. Go ahead. Wow, man, she's calling me an asshole, huh? <laughs> Wait a minute. This is the main, yeah? We don't want to shoot it. Ah, there we go. Watch it. Looks like the pods are triggered by sudden movement. Oh my god. Yeah, probably, right? Probably. We are now infected. Come on, Peggy. Uh, this one. No! Wait a minute, we do not have... Oh my god, let's go with an F11 uh, there for a second. Things were all over the place, man, you know. Things were all over the place. I know, I know, I know. I should not be doing this stuff, but... Uh, sometimes I allow myself to be a scum saver. Although we should not do it because it just takes away immersion, right? So let's stop it directly. Only if things really, really go to hell. Oh yeah. Is it huge central building? Hello? Yep, let's By destroy that thing. Can you hear me? What the hell was that? Did you idiots just blow yourselves up right in front of the door? No, we did not, but you're next, darling. Now let's talk to this person you over here. You better be the damn rangers. We've been calling for help for hours. The plants have gone crazy. Well, my darling, do you see a helicopter somewhere? Oh my god, this looked like uh, the Wasteland 1 type of experimental plants, right? Um, do you need help? We are the rangers. About time. Do you need help? Yes, we need help. What have I been saying? I'm opening the doors now. Man, there's some evil sound coming from that corner. Oh, let's go into the central complex. Oh my, look at this, huh? A tall woman with dark skin and high cheekbones. She wears a white lab coat and has her ba uh, black hair pulled back in a no-nonsense bun. Though of truth which she has stuck a much chewed pen. She does not look happy to see you. Rangers, where have you been? 
I can fly, darling. Come on. Ms. Lawson, meet the new recruits. Recruits, meet Ms. Lawson. Forget the friendly introductions, Angie. Wasn't the deal we made with the Rangers? We give you food, you give us protection. Well, your recruits are looking pretty goddamn well fed, but we've been up to our tits in killer tomatoes for eight hours and not a ranger in sight. I love old school games, man. Up to our tits, right? You, everybody would go insane these days, you know, like in 2023. Like, oh my God, can't believe that she said that. Oh my God. You should take it from here, recruits. Learning to deal with angry citizens is part of the job. And by the way, and then we are talking about hardcore games, right? In the hardcore setting of an apocalypse. There's nothing more hardcore than an apocalypse, right? Where all of humanity died. And then you cannot use words like tits. Come on, boys. All right. Uh, we, we are investigating a distant signal and need to use your, your radio this ho ho. What do you think of the desert ranges? Killer tomatoes? Uh, killer tomatoes? And killer pumpkins and killer fruit flies. All of a sudden, all our plants started growing out of control, mutating, exploding, attacking my people. It's like the have gone rabbit or something. Did you hear our distress call? We've been calling uh, for help forever. Um, your people are in danger. Um, Muff and Rose and I managed to get inside. Safety, but the others? Ooh, that's kind of bad though. Rose, what can you tell me about Rose? Um, Rose is her best researcher. She's in her lab, trying to find out what uh, went wrong. But even if she figures it out, she's an old lady. There's no way she could go in there and to fix it. That's why we called the Rangers. Math? Uh, he is a man in the wheelchair. At the monitor desk, okay. Hey, 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 hey Rangers! He's the one who called Ranger Citadel eight hours ago. Wow, that is a long time ago. We was hurt. The plants have begun growing strange exploding pots. And he got caught in a blast. His whole left side is a mess. Oh yeah, man. Look at that, though. Bandages everywhere. And that's that's just his hip. Uh, I mean, upper leg instead of his knee. God, thanks. So maybe he can walk in the future. He's the one who called... Yeah, yeah, we had that. Uh, lab. Tell me about the lab. Our research lab, we are experimenting with new breeds. It's uh, down to uh, to the hall to these, okay. Others, who else is in trouble? Uh, the researchers and the farmers, they are still out in the fields and greenhouses. We have been watching them dying one by one on the monitors. While you butterballs have been off somewhere circle jerking each other. Uh, very tough, very funny the girl there. Oh my god. And for them, <laughs> it's been even worse. Hmm, what could have been worse than death? You saw her? That thing you met out front? She was one of my assistants. All of them were old people and now they are... I don't know what they are. Pot people? You have monitor system? Yes, the whole uh, facility is rigged with cameras and an intercom, though the plants have wrecked it in places. It's been horrible seeing what's going on, but not able to help. Tell me about the layout of the facility. The east and west greenhouses where we do most of our testing are in this building. Uh, the west field where we grow our fruits and veggies and the east field which has grazing or animals and quarters are for the farmers are in the big enclosure on either side. They are probably all destroyed by now. Farmers? What happened to the farmers? I've been watching them dying for hours. I... <laughs> I know those men. They have been good friends and now they are gone. Researchers. The researchers were in uh, in the greenhouse mostly. A lot of the cameras were obstructed by plant growth. So I don't know what happened to them, but there were terrible screams. Tell me about the exploding pots. As if the rest of this craziness wasn't enough, the plants are also starting to explode. Get too close to one of those red pods and bam. Huh. Come to think of it, everyone who's changed into one of those pod people got blasted first. Oh no, what about this guy over there then, huh? If I could get one of those pods to study, intact, I might be able to come up with a cure. You'll need, I suppose, oh. a handful of fragments of pods. Let's say ten would do the trick, if you can't manage to collect a whole one. Okay, ten in total. If we don't find a cure, the infection will surge back and we'll all be dead. But how could we get a whole one, though, I wonder, right, you know? Um, what went wrong with the plants? 
Rose thing, uh, thinks it started with some contamination in the fertilizer system. She also thinks it's deliberate sabotage. I hate to think that, but whatever it is, the vegetation is growing out of control and mutating. The insects too, they're enormous. Yeah, there is something that given them a free will, probably, right? An animalistic free will, probably. Sabotage, you think someone from AG's uh, center is behind this? Um, well, they had problems like that before, right? The bunny master. I, I hope not. I don't want to think that anyone here will do this. We're a happy family. We all want the same thing, to make the wasteland green again. Hey, darling, listen, you know. Families, they're not always the best to have around, right? You know, there's always some people in there that are just out there for themselves. Giant insects, how big are we talking? I saw a fruit fly as big as a bald eagle. <laughs> it had a stinger like a fucking skimmer tar. Whew, that's bad, yo. Well, we are here now. I'm ready to help. Signal, we are investigating the oh, oh, ranges. What do you think of the ranges? Now nah, we can ask these things later. Help. About time. Now listen. We think the mutations stem from contamination in our irrigation system. Unfortunately, the computer that operates the pumps seems to be malfunctioning and we can't shut it off remotely. Maybe its circuits are overloaded from all the alarms going off. Oh, probably, right? The computer is down the corridor past the airlock behind us. I can open that lock, but if you're gonna do your job and rescue our guys, see Rose. She has the current override codes for the greenhouse airlocks. Either way, we'll lead you to the computer room eventually. If you can get the computer working, you can shut down the pumps from there. If not, you'll have to go into the east and west fields and turn off the valves by hand. Now get going before any more of my people die. All right, so there are plenty of options right now. Goodbye. Yes, go. Do your job. I'll open the central airlocks for you now. But remember, we might have people trapped in the greenhouses. So talk to Rose for the door codes. Mm-hmm. She's very emotional, right? That's why she's talking uh, like that. She knows damn well that we cannot fly all over Arizona, right? You know? No fruity birds yet. Okay, let's talk to Matt Forrestal first. Aline Squ <laughs> What a gentleman, right? Oh my god, it's Peterson, isn't he? <laughs> a lean square shouldered guy in a fino, uh, yeah, flannel shirt and jeans. He, um, he would look trim and healthy if his left arm and leg weren't all wrapped up in bandages and his face all bruised and sliced up. He winces as he shifts around to look at you, but then gives a big grin as you approach. Matt, good to see you. Oh shit, what happened to you? Hey, Angie. By one of those exploding pods. We are over recording, that's why the sound. Uh, are you are you okay? Oh, Kathy says she can fix me up. I hope so. Hurts like the dickens. Mm. Well, take care, Matt. Mm. I recognize the uniforms, but not the faces. Y'all must be new recruits. Hope this ain't your first dance, though, because I got the feeling it ain't gonna be a walk in the park. Name's Matt Forrestall. Well, I guess I'm the boss around here. Used to wear one of them stars, though, back in the day. I see. So, uh, you used to wear the bats? Huh, maybe an ex cop before pre war, right? You know? Uh, in pre war. Yes, indeed. I was a ranger. Oh. Back before old Vargas's hair turned gray and Ace was just still a three of clubs. Quit to run the Ag Center after I took a bullet in the gut. Missed any organs, but. I just couldn't move like I used to. Mmm, the AG Center? What can you tell me about AG Center? Damn proud of this place. Signed on here because I figured there were ways other than shooting bad guys that I could make the wasteland a better place. And make a profit at the same time. Not doing too bad at it either. <laughs> Got a little distribution deal with the rail nomads and hopefully soon we'll be keeping the local communities fat and happy. Even Ranger Citadel. Of course, this little crisis might change all that. Serious setback. Mmm, a crisis. Don't know what happened exactly. Rose seems to think our irrigation system's been monkeyed with. Whatever it is, everything in the facility is mutating faster than we can keep track of. The plants are growing weird, exploding pods, the insects are as big as bear cats. Even the men. 
I don't know what they're turning into, but it's horrible. It's got to be stopped. Tell me about Rose. One of our researchers, a mentor to all the rest of us. I think she's working down the hall to the left there. Okay. Uh, the hall to the left. Yeah, sure. Uh, stopped. Well, I don't know if we're going to manage to find a way to reverse all this, but we got to at least stop it from getting worse. And that means we got to get that irrigation system turned off. You already talked to Kathy about that, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and what are these exploding pots, though, huh, big guy? They're red seed pots that explode when you get close to them. That's what happened to me. Tried to go in and pull one of the farmers out. Damn pot went off like a grenade. Still haven't got all the shrapnel out either. Stings like damnation. <laughs> Land shrapnel, though. <laughs> Don't underestimate it, by the way. Because, you know, in World War II, a lot of soldiers died because of shrapnel from, uh, you know, like a bomb hit somewhere and then splinters of a tree or whatever did fly around and he died because of that. Not because of the shrapnel of the explosive cells, right? You know, it's highly dangerous, those things. Uh, so, yeah, why not a plant? And we don't know how thick that plant actually is, right? Or how hard. Um, tell me about the real nomads. Yeah. Once they get themselves straightened out, we plan to use their rail lines to ship to all our customers. But until we can stop this crisis and make sure the food is safe again, nobody's gonna get fed. True that though. What do you mean by distribution? Well, the food ain't doing any good if it just sits here and rots, is it? I let the researchers figure out the best way of growing things. My job is to get it to the people. I mean, if you can make plants this big, you know? You can make biofuel probably too, right? You know, out of it. Probably, right? Or gases at least. Yeah, gas could be... Hmm, interesting. Have you heard about Ace's death? Yeah, I heard. Bet I knew before the Rangers did. Damn shame. Wish I could have gone to his retirement party. Hope you kids did him proud. And how did you know about Ace? Heard about it from one of our farmers named Skinner. Said he talked to some wandering merchant who traveled with him and seen the attack. Recognized Ace by his description. <laughs> that crazy hair of his. Oh, this seems a little bit odd, isn't it, you know? Uh, what can you tell me about Skinner? He helps cultivate the fungi in the mushroom caves. Good man, if a little too partial to snake squeezings. <laughs> Last I saw of him, he was in the mushroom caves looking for his family right after the plants went loco. I see. Well, I have first some other questions, right? Merchant. Uh, who was this merchant? Don't know anything else about him. You're welcome to ask Skinner. If he's still alive. And do you know anything about the attack that killed Ace? Sorry. Wish I did. Skinner just said the merchant told him it was a strange man, but... That was all. Maybe you can get more out of him. Yeah, we have his leg. <laughs> yeah, it's a sin. Uh, mushroom Caves. They're below the center. You can get to them through the computer room. Perfect for growing fungi down there. Oh yeah, probably right. Have any snake squeeze-ins? <sighs> That's some foul stuff. Like gin. It was made in a bathtub somebody died in. Oh my lord, really it's that bad? Yeah, it does take the edge off from time to time though. <laughs> Wait, you're, you're still drinking that, huh? And what do you do as the boss? Normally. Just keep everything organized and humming along. Today, get blown up, fail to help my people, I, I guess. Sorry, Rangers. Uh, I don't mean to be all self-pity and rain clouds. Just having a shitty day. No, well, you know, if you look like that, you can at least talk a little bit about it, right? How are your people faring? We've lost a lot of good ones, but I'm damn proud of everyone. We haven't had widespread panic. Tensions aren't spilling over too bad. Folks are doing their honest best trying to help where they can. Mm hmm If you find anyone as you make your way into the complex, I'll make sure you get commendations and compensation for helping them out. All right, sounds like a good deal, though, but it seems like we we're doing that anyways, right? No matter the reward. Um, do you have any supplies stocked up here uh, that we could use? Yeah, let's first. Uh, how did you get hurt? We do know, but let's listen to it. 
Got a little too close to one of those exploding pods. Now I got a little plant shrapnel souvenir. No big deal. Mm, supplies. Things are a little paltry right now, but uh, I've got some gear you can make use of. All right, very nice. So I, I, I wish he would just give it to us. You know, that would be very, very, very nice. Russ Burkett, assault rifle. Okay, it does okay damage though, but we do need some of this. But first of all, we do need this. This is very important. We don't have a lot of it though. Mod magazine. Hmm. That's four percent to gem. That's actually pretty nice. But this will be so, so, so useful. To be honest. Uh, I want to have all of them though. Fifty times each. Oh yeah, nice. Ah, so it's a total. Oh my god. Yeah, see what I mean? 20 eats. Okay, that's pretty nice, though. Pretty nice. Also very nice for close combat, what we do need to get. And don't you... Don't you... Yeah, you, you use those, right? So we do want to have these two, and we cannot afford that. So 65, 63. Okay, that's at least nine more shots, right, you know? And plus well, animal whisper. That's not bad. Rabbit stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Now let's see. We want to have some more. Oh, Aces wins. Oh, this is sad. Oh, this is real sad, man. Damn. Kind of hits me though, huh? Oh my, look at that. Each of these letters is faded and yellowed with eights and twos. To my angel. It's crawled on the front in loving of slightly messy handwriting. Remember what she said about, uh, you know, Ace's handwriting? Oh my, Angela. Look at that, though. She's so sad. Look at that. That's the ranch. Man, that's cursing, though, right? You know? We do not use the heavy weapons right now, so I would say goodbye with that. Here we go. Goodbye. Thanks for coming by, Rangers. Always good to see new recruits taking their first steps into the big wide world. Oh yeah. Aye. Howdy, recruits. <laughs> How'd you doing there? Oh, well, we're doing fine though, but yeah, we are over recording, so by that oh, let's not take it because it's theirs, right, you know? Um we could probably take it though. I, I wanna see how they react. After all, we are helping them out. Uh, let's see, let's see. And you will... Wait a minute. Say so yeah and yes. And these two, why not? Okay, they did not mind, so that is great. Um, so yeah, my dad, I want to thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And have a wonderful time. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay happy, stay healthy, and don't forget to subscribe, though. Bye-bye.